This short video tutorial will cover accessing the student wireless network on campus using your own laptop. One small note is that brand new students must first change their default password before logging into any computer, Blackboard, or even using the wireless network. So this first step seems obvious, but you need to make sure that your wireless button on your computer is actually turned on. Now, I already have my wireless button turned on, and you can see that I'm actually not connected to any wireless network right now by this little tiny icon on the bottom right of my screen. Now every computer is different, but when I click on that icon, it gives me the option to connect to a network. I'll go ahead and do that now. So from this pop-up window, I must search for available networks. As a student, I'm looking for edcc underscore student, which you'll note has a little password protected icon next to it. I'll choose this network and click on the connect button below. So you may get a warning when accessing an unsecured network and you'll need to proceed in order to use the school Wi-Fi. So click on connect anyway. So you may also have the option to save your connection so that you don't actually have to go through these steps every single time. So with that I'm actually connected now. This icon has changed and it says I'm currently connected and I'll go ahead and open up a web browser. So automatically it takes me to the EDCC wireless login for students screen. So here I can plug in my SID number and password to access all of the internet or simply click on the Edmund CC link to access the college website. So you can actually access the college website without having to type in your SID and password. That's it. Congratulations on connecting to the student wireless network. Good luck with your studies at Edmonds Community College and thank you for watching this short tutorial created by the Distance Learning Office.